Today, I thought I would do something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing cryptocurrency memes from all around the world just to have a bit of fun because I've been making technical crypto videos for the entire month. And along with that, I've been doing or hosting a giveaway. And if you're not familiar, it's me gonna be giving away $100 worth of Bitcoin and it's going to be in my next video. So make sure bell notifications are turned on if you have entered so you don't miss out on the opportunity to win $100 worth of Bitcoin. I'll be announcing the winner in that video. For those of you who are new to the channel or aren't aware of this, I am running a giveaway and this is the last video you can enter in. You can enter in any of the videos I have released over March. All you need to do is leave a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below about what your favorite cryptocurrency is and why, and that will be a valid entry for the competition. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the memes. Holy shit, dude, is this your place? Yeah, man, this is the crib. How'd you afford this? I've seen this channel before. This video is going to be hilarious. He's drinking sparkling water. Man has good taste. Double B, bro. What's the double B? It stands for Bitcoin, bitch. <laughs> hey, Tony. Drop a couple of mil on Dogecoin, would you? Couple of mil on Dogecoin. Why not vet? Biased opinion. Why not vet? I just read the caption. This is literally everyone I talk to about cryptocurrency right now, including myself. And Dogecoin? Dogecoin. Oh yeah, I just signed up to Coinspot. Bitcoin is mooning. Referral link down in the description. Coinspot, cheeky plug. Mate, please. I've been on there since like the 2017 boom. Honestly, within one year, there'll be no such thing as money. Cryptocurrencies are the future. Anyone know if this thing takes Bitcoin? I wonder if they actually got merch printed. He has a Coinspot beanie and a Coinspot shirt. I'm telling you, I've got a mate that has a little brother, his cousin, reads the charts, he reckons it's gonna go off. Invest now, thank me later. I actually knew Elon Musk was gonna buy into Bitcoin. I'm pretty sure Elon Musk bought Bitcoin after they released this video. That's pretty good hindsight. Can one of you just explain what cryptocurrency even is? Oh, um, yeah, um, it's the, um, uh, <clears throat> I know a guy that has a cousin that has an uncle that has a friend that says this coin is about to go off. I actually have an uncle who's recently got into cryptocurrency and actually does this. He texts me saying, soon the movement, I think it's, I think it's going to go to the moon. That being said, I do the same thing. So I guess we're all idiots in the pod. Went and saw a psychic yesterday. She said Ripple's about to move. Oh, man, if only we knew what the next crypto to blow up will be. Oh, fuck yeah, you're telling me. <clears throat> What about the Hamish and Anycoin? Come see me. What? <clears throat> he always couldn't hold his composure. He like he laughs right at the end of that. Let's watch that back. Today, watch she that said Ripple's about back. to move. Oh, man, <laughs> if only we knew what the next crypto to blow up will be. Oh, Look at his face. Yeah, you're watch telling his, me. Watch him smile. <clears throat> Hamish, what's what about up? Hamish and Anycoin? <laughs> you can't. What? <laughs> yeah. Great video to kick off. The Uninspired Unemployed. Definitely great channel. Go check him out on Instagram. I think they have a YouTube channel. I'm not too sure. They're really funny guys. They have a lot of funny videos. As Davey504 would say, approved, but I'm not gonna do the voiceover edit because I don't know how to do that. Next, meme, nurse. So you've been in a coma for nine seconds. Yeah, oh boy, I can't wait to see how much my Bitcoin is worth. It's so volatile, it's actually crazy. I think I have another meme. Hang on, where is it? Here it is. A boy asked his Bitcoin invested dad for one Bitcoin for his birthday. What? $15,554, $14,355 $14, is a lot of money. What do you need $16,849 for? I wonder if there's ever been a jump or will ever be a jump where it literally changes in that that price range so quickly. That That's crazy to think that within the span of like a few minutes, you could be up or down thousands of dollars. And I've actually gone through it multiple times and I'm kind of, I'm kind of desensitized to it now, but that's actually really funny. When your portfolio is only up several thousand percent, there are people who I talk to and they'll be like, oh yeah, I invested in the share market this year and I'm on like a 7% return and that's pretty good. And that's actually pretty accurate for the share market. And then there's literal people with first world problems like I've only made 5,000% on my investment in Bitcoin. What this investment is such a crazy investment that some people like young people who invested a crap ton of money would have made an absolute fortune. It's just crazy to think, how much money some people have made off of this investment. And this is the reality of it. Bitcoiners be like, I'm in it for the technology. When in actual fact, people, for example, who are in GME, who invested into GameStop, are probably the majority of them or the overall investors are probably in it for the gains or unfortunately the losses. I had this moment as well. Actually, one of my friends had this moment. They were gonna buy one at like 14,000 as it started going up from like 7,000 at the start of last year. And they're sitting there going, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buy one. And I was like, don't, like, don't do it. And now in Australian dollars, it's like 70,000 Australian dollars. So my bad, I 
it's a good segue to always do your own research and don't just listen to people who think they know what they're talking about because they don't. It's too volatile. There's no way that I could have even ever told that. I'm going to say this one is now pretty inaccurate. What my friends think I do. Yep. That's me sitting here with a gaming mouse and gaming keyboard. What my parents think I do. Yeah. They're like completely off the plot. They have no, no idea what society thinks I do. I don't know. I think it's coming a bit more around like where everyone's kind of getting on the crypto train. People are getting into it. They're asking questions about it. They want to understand a bit more about it. They're not so much like, oh yeah, you're a nerd. Go do that elsewhere. Silk Road, what the government thinks I do. Oh yeah, still lots of illegal activity that happens with cryptocurrency. I'm, I'm, I'm sure about that. What I think I do? Nah, I'm not in the matrix. That's stupid. What I really do? Yeah, gaming mouse, gaming keyboard, other way around. Accurate. I take it back. This is accurate. Just society is a little bit different now. <laughs> this is literally copy. This is so accurate. It's copy pasted at the bottom of all of my videos. I am not a financial advisor to be fair, but it's funny because it's literally in every single person who talks about cryptocurrency or anyone who talks about anything that's finance related, they have to say it to cover their own asses. They're not financial advisors. They like talking about the topics. They're probably pretty wise. And in some instances, people are pretty smart, but yeah, accurate. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, come to your own conclusions. Do not invest based on what I tell you to do. So this spot is for disabled people only, but officer 90% of my portfolio is in Dogecoin. Oh, sorry for bothering you. Did he just insinuate that anyone who invests in Dogecoin is disabled? Because that's accurate. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> next meme. When I invest $2,500 into crypto and I'm not a millionaire next week. I did this with Cardano and I'm still waiting to be a millionaire. I was promised billions in the hundreds of billions. I thought it was going to crush F. Why hasn't it happened yet? Come on. <laughs> Ah, call an ambulance. <laughs> Cardano, what for? Ah, oh, but not for me. That's so funny. That's actually hilarious. Not yet though. Come on, Cardano. Wow, that, that kind of tied in well. Can't pay taxes if you don't have any gains. Actually, lesson moment. If you have losses, you can claim it as a capital loss against other investments that you make. So keep that in mind. If you invest in lots of things and you lose on crypto and sell it, make sure that at tax time, you claim it as a capital loss. It means you have a tax deduction. I'm going to slot that one in there. Stay tuned for capital gains tax as well. The video to be coming soon. Same thing again. What is with the Cardano memes? ADA holders do something. Come on. Like it's kind of been hovering around the $1 to $1.30 mark at the time of recording this video. Come on. $17. $700 million, please. Me picking which altcoin to invest in. <laughs> he picks a mine on the, f <laughs> no, that's, that's Photoshop. You can't pick the mine on the, f can, can you do that? Mine, <laughs> tulip holders when the bubble burst in 1637. For those of you who don't know the story, back in like the 1600s, people thought tulips would be like new currency because they were so beautiful and everyone wanted them and they were just really hard to get your hands on. So people were like literally selling their houses for like a bouquet of tulips back then. And what they ended up finding out was they are essentially flowers. That's not Bitcoin related. That's not cryptocurrency related. That's hilarious. Did I just swear? Oop. Beep. <laughs> Next meme. Being a crypto trader is not stressing at all. Is not stressful at all. John, 26 years old. Look at it. He's got great complexion, great skincare. I wonder what his skincare routine is. No coiners. Cryptocurrency is worthless because it is created out of thin air and isn't backed by anything. The Federal Reserve. In Australia, we have the same thing with the Reserve Bank. They're just like, oh, yes, we agree. Money's printed. Have you heard the news? Money printer goes burr. Like that meme is so popular. Yeah, popular. They, the Federal Reserve just is about to do another print. They're giving stimulus to the to the whole of America, to people under $150,000 income at home, combined income. I'm not sure exactly, but it's literally the same thing. Like it's just made out of nothing. Cryptocurrency isn't worthless. Not all of them, are. some of them have actual products behind them. But to be fair, Bitcoin is kind of like digital gold. It only holds value because people have value, have value, have an opinion that it holds value. Yeah. Billy, it's time you learn about money and the importance of Bitcoin. <laughs> Billy, no. Are they old coins? Bitcoin, Litecoin. Where's VeChain? Why is it VeChain there? This is so graphic. Yeah, he's, he's such a good redditor. He's 
so popular on Reddit. If you've ever seen his videos, his videos, he doesn't make videos. He does animations or comics of like people's conversations on Reddit. It's so funny. Check him out. You can actually look him up. He's down there. So grapho. Waiting for my bags to rise in value so I can get that. <laughs> Look at how he looks so lonely. Is he in a pool? No. Wait, what is that? Is that a road? What's he standing on? He's just looking out into nothingness. Just like, one day. I invested 15 minutes ago. I'll be a millionaire soon. So I can buy a Lambo. I would totally buy a Lambo. I would have hunt. Comment down below, you Lambo fan. What supercar would you buy with all your gains if you if you made it big, if you had, or what supercar did you buy for the people who watch these videos just for fun, to spite everyone else for all their millions and millions of dollars of gains? Crypto noobs first day after online trade. <laughs> How much effort do you have to go through to go to the desert, dress up in a full scuba suit and take a photo? I hope they made, I hope they made this meme. I hope the person in that photo made this meme. That is hilarious. I don't even know where I would go to take a photo like that where I live. I don't live anywhere near a desert. Not close anyway. That's commitment. That's funny as. Do you ever look at stuff and wonder how it got there? Is it a goat? Holy crap. Car. How old is this? $3,600. Oh man, I went. <laughs> Surely that's from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's hilarious. What is he wearing? Oh man, Bitcoin, $3,600. When was the last time it was at that price? That was, it's crazy to me that it was only a couple of years ago that it was that price. And that back then for me was so expensive. Like three grand to buy Bitcoin with, that's crazy. Cryptocurrency investors, I'm going in blind. Yeah, literally at the moment, still today. And it's much better today than it was years ago, but it's still so, so incredibly volatile. You could literally pick. It's crazy to think that there are a certain number of steps that you could take right now in a single day that would make you a multimillionaire. It could come down to simply investing in a random cryptocurrency like this, putting a blindfold on, spinning a wheel and picking one. And it could literally be the reason why you make millions of dollars. That is so scary. That is so scary. When you have to go somewhere, but crypto is life. I want it. I'm going to Google that. What? It's real. Can I buy it? No. Is it? Why? Why would you be carrying around your whole computer? That's ridiculous. Stuff that. They're not portable. They're not supposed to be portable. That's crazy. That's stupid. All right. Next. <laughs> Bitcoin altcoins. Hold on for dear life. We're going for a ride. Bitcoin. Bit, oh, it just completely controls everyone. Like it controls all the prices of all of the altcoins. And look at how whole, look at how tight that kid is holding on. Imagine his dad saying to his kid, Sonny, don't let go. Hello. <laughs> That's not safe. Couldn't he put him on his lap? Surely he could sit on the front of that bike. That's not nice. And that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I think it's a good place to end. I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I know it's a little bit different to what I'm usually uploading, but I wanted to try something different to kind of celebrate, take away from the technical content that I'm usually making and just do something fun. If you did enjoy it, definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know if there are other finance topics you'd like me to do something like this for, because again, could be a lot of fun. Could add it to a playlist. Who knows? I enjoy doing it. I might do it in the future. With that being said, I am going to revert back to my usual technical content uploads where I talk about finance topics, whether it be specific to Australia, which is where I live or the world. So stay tuned for them because I hope that they provide some insights why I created the channel. And with so many new faces, I don't know what you're really expecting to get out of this, but I'm hoping that you do find value in what I create. So with that being said, Thank you to all the new faces. It's been a great month. I've really enjoyed making these videos and I'm going to continue making them into the future because I do enjoy making them. So if they are providing value to you and you've hit that red subscribe button, thank you very much. If you haven't hit it yet, consider it. It's down there somewhere. And with that being said, enter in the competition. The information that you need is in the description. Good luck. I will be picking that winner in the next video that I release. And that's pretty much it. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.